Hello everybody, this is Dr. Avirupa Roy. I am a practicing infertility specialist from Cyan, Mumbai at Genomics Infertility and Test Tube Baby Center. Today we would like to discuss a few takeaway points about infertility. So I don't like using the word as infertility because it seems that there is a problem. So fertility concerns or fertility issues is something what I like to diagnose it as. So there is an issue with your fertility. You are not infertile or you cannot not have kids or you cannot not be a family you have issues with your fertility which can be definitely treated which can be diagnosed treated and you can complete your family it might take some help it might take specialist advice it might take a few visits it might take a few concerns to be taken care of it might take some months few days but eventually you will definitely be able to be a family so moving ahead first thing that I would like to address which I commonly see in our clinical practice is it's never a blame game. It's never the female partner's problem or the male partner's problem. This is an issue which I face most commonly in my clinic where as in people come in as individuals. They don't come in as a couple. They are just ready to find out what is the problem in each one of them and put the blame on them and then finish the matter. It is not as simple as that. Fertility issues are a different scenario. Having a family, becoming a parent, becoming the parents of a child is a completely different scenario. If you visit the clinic as different people, not as a couple, not as a husband and wife, who are willing to take care of each other, take care of each other's problems, and then become a family, then how is the treatment going to give any results? So, coming back to the point, we have male factor infertility and female factor infertility. Nobody is to be blamed for your fertility issues. There are some problems which a female may face and there are some problems which a male may face. So what are the most common concerns of fertility in females? So most common issues which we are seeing in our day-to-day -day practice being age. Age being a very big factor nowadays, especially in metro cities and also in the small tier, second tier, third tier cities nowadays because women are marrying at a later age as previously they used to. Secondly, women want to be financially and educationally independent. They want to complete their, independent, uh, they want to complete their education. They want to get a certain job. They want to be in a certain position in their job. They want to have a certain earning and then get married. Or even if they have gotten married, they want to plan their family. As in, they immediately do not want to become parents. They want spacing. They want a gap. They want to achieve certain goals, personal goals in life and then move on to the family way which unfortunately delays their fertility period. Unfortunately for women, I would like to bring this important point that they are born with a fixed number of eggs. So they are born with a fixed reproductive period, which is generally from the age of 20 to 30. After 30, female fertility starts dwindling very rapidly and hence if women are planning to delay their fertility after 30, we have newer methods like ovarian egg freezing, which I extremely strongly advocate to all women who want to delay their fertility, who want to delay their family planning by a few years, to preserve their eggs, to store their eggs, to freeze their eggs or embryos at an early age, and so that they can delay their fertility by a few years and can become mothers with their own eggs at a later age. Third and the most common thing being obesity, also exposure to certain chemicals, drugs, alcohol, abuse, everything which is now becoming more and more common in women also. Fourth and the most important thing in my opinion is not understanding the issue or wrong diagnosis or dealing seeking treatment due to a taboo a major taboo being attached with infertility or coming out in the open or seeking help 
most women feel that if she is not able to be a mother there is some problem in her and then she would be tabooed by society she would be an outcast and you know her in-laws will not support her husband will not support her and they just keep delaying seeking help or coming to a doctor so the sooner you come to us the sooner we can help you and the sooner you can become parents with lesser forms of treatment lesser intervention and with lesser financial burden to the couple moving on to male infertility again age factor most commonly we feel that males are forever and you know they don't have any age to fertility but that is not true sperm motility sperm count the strength of the sperm to fertilize an egg decreases with age so age of course affects male also secondly again exposure exposure in men to radiation to chemicals lifestyle stress in general this also affects the quality of the sperm and its fertility potential and again the third thing being taboo men feel that they are never the problem or they might never have a problem and they are all okay and their sperm is always okay and they are the stronger sex but unfortunately no we see in our clinical practice a lot of men who don't of course there are no symptoms so clearly a lot of men who have a sex life who have no problems who have no symptoms in any other disorders but they have a poor or a low sperm count they have a low fertility potential their sperms are weaker motility is less so again don't make it a taboo discuss this issues with partners discuss this issues with doctors come to us seek help at the right time and we may guide you and you can soon become parents and this journey will be blissful and rather than being stressful thank you